companies that we've been to? <laughs> For the past four years, I have not only been able to watch this athlete excel on the soccer pitch and, and basketball court, but grow as a person. Katie is one of the most passionate, caring people I know. I'm not going to sit here and read you all of Katie's stats and all of her awards and her records she's broken, because by now we are all aware of the soccer player she is. Katie is leaving a legacy. She will graduate in a few days as one of the most decorated players in the program, including helping to lead the soccer program to its first ECEC birth ever. I'm going to keep this short because I promised Coach Hughes that it was her turn to speak about you this year. <laughs> but before I do, I wanted to tell you that even in this moment, people will say, describe Katie Burrell. What does she mean to you and your program? And I think I can continually say, I can't. Katie, I don't ever think I'll find the right words to describe you or the impact you've made on our program. What I can tell you is that you have been a coach's dream, and I feel very privileged to have coached a player of your caliber. And without getting emotional, I'd like to say thank you and that you will be greatly missed. I already said everything like last week, didn't I? Um, there's a lot of stats that I can also say about Katie. Um, thousand point scorer, led the conference in assists, was seventh in the nation in assists this year. Um, two conference championships. I mean, I really could go on and on. But there's something a little bit different about Katie, and I always say that, and everybody's like, whatever. I've been coaching a long time. I've been coaching for more than 20 years. And I really can say that Katie really is one in a million. There's just something about her, and there's two things that really jump to mind, and one of them is growth, and that was the um, one of our team values this year. I've never had a player as good as Katie Burrell get better the way she did. Usually when you get a player that's that good, I talk about it kind of like in football terms where you're in the red zone, so it's really hard to score. You know, it's hard to get better when you're at that level. Katie Burrell did that. She became an excellent basketball player, you know, and a lot of it, yeah, you can say you're a great athlete, but a lot of it was hard work. And I don't think that it really felt like hard work to Katie because it was what she liked to do. She's competitive, so she would get in there and work on things simply because she didn't like not doing them well. And I can vividly remember many times her working on her ball handling, um, coming with me and doing lectures and doing her ball handling in front of like 500 people. Um, and trying to get better at that. And even this year, as a senior, just before playoffs, um, I was working with one of the freshmen, working on stopping somebody from getting to the lane, and we started doing charges. And Katie said, let me try it. She kept trying it, and she couldn't get the charge. And she goes, oh, let me try it again. And I said, Katie, I hate to bring it to you, but you probably don't have enough time to master this. She had like three games left in her career. She still wanted to get better. And the second thing that I always think about is leadership. You know. People want to follow her. People like her. She's a hard worker. People want to win for her. She's a good person. People want to be your friend. And I, too, am honored to have coached you. Katie Burrell. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for honoring me with this award. Um, thank you to Colin and Kelly and the rest of the athletic department for all the support you've given me and my teammates over the past four years. Um, thank you to Coach Hughes and Coach Scroop, Coach Ash, Coach KB, and Coach Allison for putting up with me for the last four years. And um, thank you to my teammates, both, both basketball and soccer. Um, I'm really going to miss you guys. Thanks for all the memories and all the fun we've had. Um, it's going to be Hard not being here next year with you guys, but thank you for everything. You guys are like my sisters, and I love you. And lastly, thank you to my parents, my mom, my dad, my brothers, and my sister for all the encouragement and support you've given me over the years. Um, I love you guys, and thank you again to everyone.